What's going on everyone? My name is Sherwin and we are in the R1T studios, but we are going to be headed to Santa Ana in Orange County uh, for the Rove charging station media event. We're going to go check that out. They've invited me to go check out that place. I'm kind of excited because it's probably one of the first ones of its kind that at least that I've been to. All right, we have arrived here in Santa Ana at 147 miles or 41% state of charge. Uh, we got V4s and CCS chargers. We're going to hop out. We're going to check this. I'm excited because I think this these V4s, the cables are long that I don't have to take up two spots. Your experience. All right, here we go. V4, I'm excited. And so we are uh, doing the 7A terminal. You pull it down? Oh, okay, there you go. Here we go. V4 cables reaching, no problem. I'm not taking up two spots, so I'm happy. And I think we're good. Initializing charging. There it is, it's green. Yes, there it is. So these are supposed to be doing 350 kilowatts, but Rivian will top at 220, I believe. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter, I think. But the best part about it is the cable will will reach and not have to block two different spots so and we are charging at 123 kilowatt in speed that's faster than mine is it what are you at 80, 80 i think 85 85 kilowatt oh, at 55 percent too so oh okay cool yeah. So there's the CCS chargers and they have Chatamo here as well. And these V4s are fantastic. Fantastic. They have a car wash. They have a fresh market over there we're gonna check out. And they have vacuums. You know, good thing the uh, truck is a little filthy. We're gonna probably do some vacuuming and things later. Um, right now we are charging on the V4 and uh, it's probably going to end really quick because I'm not really that low on the state of charge. Um, these CCS chargers are uh, Rove branded. They are tap to pay and they do have a Rove app that you could use, but it's not a requirement. You could just use tap to pay. We're just checking this out. We were given um, early access to to share information with you all. Um, these do have solar panel roofs. So that's pretty cool. And I was told that they're going to be expanding in Torrance and Costa Mesa. And I think in Corona. So they're headed south and they're headed east. Very cool. Uh, they also have the vacuums on this side. Let's go check it out. So over here, they have vacuums. I'm gonna go and try this out because uh, my car is not too dirty, but it is dirty on the outside. We went uh, just a small off-roading trip, so it's dusty. Oh, here's two Lucids. One of them is Ian. Three Lucids, four Lucids. Wow, yes. So we're gonna be talking to some of the people here. And they also have a car wash over here. So I'm here with Ryan with Rove and he was talking to me about the different rates. So Tesla V4 right now is 48 cents and the it's Rove branded CCS chargers with Chatamo. With Chatamo also, two Chatamos as well. And currently they are how much per kilowatt? At 58 cents. 58 yep. cents. Yes. Uh, they are open 24 seven. Um, they have different amenities here uh, and restrooms. Very important. <laughs> uh, they have recharge by Gelson. It is not 24 seven, but they do close. At 8 p.m. as of now, maybe later though in the future. Okay. So, yep. Uh, they do have security here uh, after hours between what time? Uh, 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. We have security here. So, so they do take uh, security seriously here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be checking this place out. So thank you very yep. much. See you soon. Cool. All right, so we're gonna be checking out the inside here, the facilities. 
Uh, again, there is Recharge by Gelson. It's a uh, market and there is a lounge here. So this is their lounge. They got Wi-Fi access. They have charging stations for your cell phones while you charge your vehicle outside. Very nice. They have a vending machine that is uh, by Gelson. And the restrooms are also over there. All right, so this is their fresh market area. I got some really good and nice goodies. Check that out. A lot of different options. Man, this is really awesome. I love this concept because you can get different drinks, different snacks. Uh, I think they even have like food, but let's go check it out, walk around. Pantry essential section. Man, it's like a, a little grocery store in here. Very cool. So they also have grab and go lunch and other options here. Coffee. Man, check that out. Look at this. I like this. So you could even set up your laptop here and work if you don't want to work in your car very nice got the chargers right there usb and regular outlets very nice all right we're just hanging out here more people arrived we got a model x coming through right now there is a group of lucid i think i'm the only one only one rivian here <laughs> So I'm going to put some stuff away and we're going to just continue to hang out. Got David over here, AKA my Teslanda. He's going to unplug because he's going to check out the car wash. We were told that this car wash is um, touchless, right? Uh, it's this, the middle selection is touchless. The uh, bottom selection is not they have brushless, and brushless and touchless. All right, so we're going to go follow this guy. That's how you're supposed to wash the car. And check that out. You know what else I like about this? Your, your, your wheels are not gonna get scratched up. Look at that yellow. See, you're, you're not gonna mess up your, your Tesla curb rash prone wheels. Good job, Rove. I like that, I like that. Thank you. All right, so David just finished his car wash, his touchless car wash. You know, you know what's cool about that car wash? Oh, do you even have, uh, see, I have a Rivian, so I already I, I already have an air compressor. I'm sorry, sir. But it's nice to have it, just to have it. <laughs> <laughs> so so how, how did the car wash do? It good, it was touchless. And the cool thing about that is uh, you don't have to use the brush. There's two options for people who don't want their cars touched with a brush. The cool thing is that it also comes with complimentary vacuum. Too. Yes. So I'm gonna vacuum my car right now. A couple knobs here is one that says vacuum and one says air. We're doing do we're gonna do vacuum. Okay, start. It's already gonna start for me, so the car is pretty dirty. Hey, right, I'm here with Butter EV, aka Eric. We are just hanging out. What do you think about this place, man? Well, I was telling Andrew over there that I think that this needs to be the norm. There needs to be more and more stations like this. I feel like too many times the charging stations are in a back dark corner or in a right? garage. 
Um, something like this where you have a store, you have clean restrooms, a lounge area. And sometimes it's confusing to get into some of yes. these parking yes. structures yes. and you got to pay extra too. I mean, I was just, um, I was filming my FSD video the other day and I had to stop in um, at a supercharger and I couldn't even figure out where it was at. You know, I had to follow some signs, but um, it's, it wasn't cut and dry and straightforward. And yeah. so, and then plus places like this are going to have 24 seven security. security. I think that's a huge thing. Um, you know, for people's safety, so. Yeah, uh, and they have Tesla and non-Tesla chargers. Everything. Yeah, yeah V4 not. too. Yeah, exactly. I brought my Rivian and I don't have to take up two spots. <laughs> yeah, there you go, there you go. All right, well, for thank sure. you, Eric. Yeah. Make sure you follow him on YouTube, Butter EV. Thank you, appreciate it. Hey, y'all know who this guy is, Everyday Chris here. What's what do you, up? What do you think about this place, man? This place is legit. Probably one of the best and coolest lounges I've ever been to. Right. It's like a gas station without the gas. Right, 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 right. They can't sell alcohol here. Oh, they don't? No. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> we we got to uh, make suggestions. <laughs> All right, make sure you follow Everyday Chris. Thank you, sir. Okay. showers than I do, man. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't stay on the dryer too long, though. No. Oh, what? Yeah. It. What's the outcome of this? I didn't even remove my bed, my bed liner either. I needed to clean my bed yeah, liner. Yeah, good time cleaning. <laughs> All right, we have switch chargers. We are now going to try the Rove Charger C CCS. Uh, so we downloaded the app and it's telling me to scan the QR code and we're gonna check this out. This is 58 cents per kilowatt hour. All right, cool. So the QR codes are right above the connectors and now it is paired. All right, authenticated, on the move, on the move, right there. Powering up, powering you up. You're allowed to start charging. I'm allowed. Given permission. Dude, they they just hit me for $75. Preparing to charge. They they um I think it's like a, a hold on my account for $75. I'm gonna use a gift card. Is that easy? That's quite easy gift card. So it is initiating. Oh, there it goes. I got the green. I got the green. Got the green. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put up on the screen how much this charge is gonna cost and I'm gonna put up the screen with the V4 Tesla supercharger. Hey, Y'all know who she is. This is Joy. And what'd you think about this place? This is amazing. Is it? it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they actually have Tesla V4 superchargers, 28 of them. So this is the first time I'm actually seeing V4 superchargers. Mine too, mine too. And it's so good. And then um, the whole recharge by Gelson's is so well stocked. I just had some sushi for lunch. They have sushi? They have sushi. Okay, go I gotta go some. check it out. Yes. And there's car wash as mm -hmm. well. I tried that. Yeah, this all solar panels. Solar panels, uh-huh. Yeah, very safe and secure, especially for women like me. If we're going on road trips um, and we're arriving at a place late at night, they have security on site. It's well lit, very well maintained. So I really hope they'll quickly expand this yes. throughout the entire U.S. I agree. Well, thank you very much, Joy. So I asked one of the people about these charging stations that are ran and owned by Rove. And the great thing about this, unlike Electrify America, EVgo, and those other ones, charge points, they actually do a better job at monitoring these and they have in-house support. So if ever these go down, uh, they told me that they will get repaired a lot quicker 
than the other charging stations. So hopefully uh, that is accurate and true. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm very excited for this stuff. It is the end of the day. Uh, shout out to Rove once again. Uh, they just gave me an opportunity to record content here and check out their facilities. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited for locations like these and I hope that they continue to grow and other companies do the same thing. All right, we are headed back to Rove Charging in Santa Ana. It's the following day. Tonight is EV night uh, with Tesla Club SoCal as well as SoCal EVs. Uh, this time I'm bringing the Model Y We're Studio here and uh, I'm gonna go use this vacuum because uh, my car is filthy. But unfortunately, the car wash looks like it is down. Oh, boo. But we're gonna go and vacuum real quick. All right, so we are plugged in. There is, look at this, a Tesla Roadster, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that right there. Man, what a beautiful car. Look at that. Got the, uh, the brown interior. Man, check that out. VIN 163. And it is for sale. I'm gonna put all that information right there. If you could check that out, hit them up. So, yes, check that out. Uh, we are plugged in, Model Y is plugged in. I believe it's 38 cents per kilowatt hour. It is 10 cents cheaper than what we had when the Rivian was plugged in yesterday. Uh, so we're gonna charge to 80% pull out and park somewhere and just hang out. There's a lot more vehicles here today. It is EV night. There are plenty of different EVs here tonight. Check that out. That is the Silverado. We have a Silverado EV here. We have a Rivian R1T here. Mach-E. We also have a R1S. And we have a, what is this, the Equinox? Equinox EV, look at that. And more Teslas here, Cybertruck. But yes, this is a really good mix of different EVs. F-150 Lightning. Um, this is great, this is great. So we just got here. Um, it's gonna be going on till 8 p.m. tonight. Man, my car is filthy, y'all. I apologize, I'm not presentable because I really thought that car wash was going to be functional today <laughs> darn uh, so we have a Porsche Taycan there Marty's Porsche Taycan uh, we have Eric and Mace's Model S's over there and a Cybertruck oh and we have a Hyundai coming in and the new Model 3 refresh right there very nice, very nice. Very cool. Take a look more into this Silverado EV. Uh, this is the second one I've seen. The first one I've seen was at an EV Go charging station, but I didn't want to bother the owners. Um, they may have rented it at that time, so I don't think they knew anything about it. But dude, check this out. It has running boards already. And... What kind of tires are these? I cannot see. <laughs> but anyway, we have a bumper and we have a place to put your foot into if you want to get into the bed of the truck. Dude, the bed looks pretty big and wide and deep. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, if I can find the owner, maybe we could talk to him later on. But check that out. I'm digging this truck. I like it. It's kind of the, uh, looks like the Chevy Avalanche a little bit. What y'all think? Chevy Avalanche look? Oh, we got a Lucid that just pulled right in. We didn't get to the 30-something uh, percent state of charge. I think I got in at about 41 or 42 percent state of charge. We are currently charging at 90 kilowatt on this V4. I'm not sure if it's being derated, but that's not the usual speed. Um, but 
Fortunately, we have plenty of time today. This is pretty cool. There is a truck here by a company called Re Rezone. And it was charging at the CCS charging station. Very nice looking. I thought it was BYD at first, but... Alright, so it is charging right now. And we're gonna go check out what the charging rate is. Looks like it's 88% state of charge at charging at 11 kilowatt speed. Wow, this is pretty fast at 88% state of charge. It's over 100 kilowatts. Very nice. I'm a little hungry checking out something to eat, but look, they got egg salad sandwich croissant. Look at that, croissant. They, you know, I had the sushi yesterday, and it was actually pretty good. I had the uh, salmon roll. It was actually pretty good. Uh, the wasabi wasn't too spicy, so I don't know. Maybe it was just my luck yesterday on the wasabi. But we have some other things over here. What else do we got? On this side, we got the yogurt. Uh, we got some hummus. Many different things. Alright, so they also have ice cream on this side. They got some microwavable stuff. I'm not sure if they have a microwave. I wonder. They have, uh, let's see, bacon, sausage, and cream cheese, eggs, milk. The usual stuff you would find in the uh, groceries. Pretty cool. So if you're ever needed to do a quick pit stop at a grocery they have many different things here while you are charging so what i used to do or what i did before there's a supercharger by target so i would run to target and uh charge at the same time where here you don't have to even walk far it's this place is already at the charging station so pretty cool so yes they do have a microwave here so check that out. They got everything here. Oh, these cookies look pretty good. Oh, man. We got cinnamon buns here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. All right, we're going to be trying out this roast beef on sourdough with Flaming Hot Cool Ranch and a bottle of Pepsi. $16. Let's go eat this stuff. here with Tasha and Kat because they got this dope Rivian R1T. I'm asking them a bunch of questions because they have some gear that I've been looking at. I, I camper, right? I camper and so Cam. this, the Kamek. Kamek. The Kamek is the one. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that right there. The, uh, the rock, awning. The rock Man, slider. there's just so many, so many. They got rock sliders right there. <laughs> My goodness. And they're charging here at the Tesla V4 using the Rivian adapter. That's right. I'm still waiting for mine, but it's all good. I got, I got the third party stuff, but I'm still waiting. But man, look at that. Look at this truck. <laughs> and they be going camping. Where do you all camp at? Everywhere. Everywhere. And they're already telling me you got to go off-roading. Yep. You got to take yeah. lessons at um, yeah. Hollister. Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> man, this their, their truck is just, uh, my pockets are already hurting. My pockets are <laughs> Oh, and you got the tunnel cover too? Wait, you haven't seen man. this. Wait, wait, look at this. Oh, look at, look at that, man. 
You know, you need a, what is those, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome rugs? Back. Oh, <laughs> man. This is dope. Oh, this is our fridge. Yeah. I got the oh, fridge. Yeah. Okay. Is there beer in there? Not today, Jerry. Not today, not today. It's not on. Also, oh, everything has grass in Oh, shoot. This so, is this fancy. Is a table. And then the oh my goodness this is awesome oh man and then did you want is there anything here oh there's nothing oh, okay. here this is our secret compartment the emergency kit but we've had one too many emergencies mm. so we need to return it <laughs> That's our old fashioned. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what does it say? <laughs> we have too many emergencies, I can never keep stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> no, this is cool. This is so handy. Like all the storage places and stuff. Oh, man. That's pretty dope. All right. All right. So, should I even, should I even get the, um, the crossbars or should I upgrade to to this extrusion i have a friend who had a tacoma and one thing he didn't like was these were too high for him so the extru the extrusion you can order at any height that you want oh so it's up to you order any I height this height only for my garage clearance so you got to think about that if you park in a garage okay um i can't park in the garage because this truck is too long so i yeah. have to actually clean my garage that's what i had to do a whole rearrange yeah i had to figure that out um so that's one thing to think about if i could i would have went higher actually oh really yeah okay which side so this is it opens on this side right the tent yeah yeah okay here. and you could flip it if you want to open it on the other side yep oh, okay very nice very nice there you have it. And these open. Oh. You can access whatever in the truck bed. That's dope. And they got the tonneau cover. I'm jealous. <laughs> I still don't have my tonneau cover. <laughs> cool. Thank you very much, y'all, for sharing your truck. Man. back here at rove in santa ana for the ribbon cutting ceremony and of course i'm late uh no parking uh and i do need to charge a little bit uh but we're just gonna hang out here for some time once things clear up we're gonna move in and we're gonna also charge but yeah there are a good number of people a few rivians i've already seen uh there's a hummer yeah i think there's a hummer here a few cyber trucks and so on and so forth there's a, yeah there's a lot of people here all right so i went ahead and parked next to will's uh cyber truck right there we are charging one of the rove attendants actually asked if i was gonna charge and i said yeah he's like i don't think uh you could charge with tesla i'm like yes you can but we got gus and we got marty over there just hanging out talking uh, but yeah, so we're gonna hang out here for a bit. I'm gonna be charging because I still gotta uh, go to work Afterwards and we're just gonna hang out So they are loading up some sunset sodas I think uh, this is uh, one of the things that we're gonna be getting at the zero emissions run uh, Late October we're gonna be headed to Vegas. So watch out for that video, but we are just Did someone say hanging. Vegas. Yes, sir <laughs> Let's follow that guy. I think I know that guy. Well, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> I got See? I got to save my We still got 2 weeks, so I got to save my energy for this. This guy charge positive aka Tolak. Mm. Follow him on Twitter. It's all charge positive. Instagram. Z, baby. With the Z, with the Z. Positive. I'm going to put that up. I'm going to put that positive. up there. There you go. There you go. Check out this guy. Hey, hey. All right, so we have many different EVs on this side. We got a Mach E we got a Benz EQS, another Mach-E, an e-tron. Oh, a couple of e-trons. 
a Bolt EV, ID4, R1S, Cybertruck, and Model 3. All right, so I ran into Isaac. This is his F-150 Lightning. And what caught my eye is this bush veld uh, on his bed, this tent. And this is the one that I was looking at, something similar to this. And I was just asking him about his experience with it. Um, but check this out, check out his setup. I, I haven't seen a Lightning set up this way before and it's very interesting to me. So he has these uh, mounts with adapters on there and um yeah he just leaves it on there all the time and um very nice very nice so check that out it's a nice color too blue do these running boards come stock yeah oh i didn't know that so the running boards come stock check that out Very nice, very nice. All right, well, that's pretty much about it for this video. We spent a few days here at Rove in Santa Ana. Very excited uh, for this location. It is just the start and cannot wait to see more of these pop up. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.